In translation, hello fellow modelers. In today's video, I prepared another legendary sci-fi model, the Ornithopter from Dune. I printed all the parts on my Prusa SL1 printer. I like this model because you can print almost all parts without supports and save a lot of resin. Only more complex parts required printing supports. I am skeptical about large resin wings because the resin is relatively fragile. I am gluing resin with a flexible super glue. The fitting without supports is splendid. Small complex parts have bad fitting, so I'm removing resin with a electric grinder and metal file. Essential is to make it thinner. And also the seam line on the fuselage. Cleaning supports take some time and it is a massive work. In my recent video I received a helpful tip about filling seam lines with printing UV resin. I used super glue before, so I am thrilled to try it out. I use the same resin which I used for printing this model. I am applying it precisely with a thin brush. Do not forget to clean fibers with alcohol after work. Otherwise the resin will cure and you can throw it away. The UV resin has great property, but under UV light it becomes solid. The whole chemical process takes only 10 seconds. I am using grey resin, therefore I am trying to apply more thin layers. You can use a clear resin instead, but I prefer a solid surface in one shade. The filling was never easier and faster. You may be thinking about using UV resin for filling plastic kits. I already tried it, but the resin does not adhere to the plastic surface too much and easily cracks or peel off. However, if you have some resin models, go for it. Ok, the wings, they are relatively large, thus I was forced to print them in two parts. Now the problem is joint. You cannot glue them without some reinforcements because the danger of cracks is too high. I am using for this purpose hypodermy needles, which are very durable, strong and cheap. This model is so cool. The UV resin has the same rigidity as the rest of the surface, so the grinding and sanding are easier and more precise. I smoothed the surface with a soft sandpaper. Can you see the seam line? Grinding resin is very messy work and potentially dangerous for your health. Therefore, always wear a protective mask. One more good tip. I purchased a cheap vacuum cleaner and mounted it on my table. So the dust particles from the grinding are immediately gone. I am restoring details of a razor saw. Ok, the model seems ready for painting, but before, try to clean the surface from dust particles. I managed to print this model nicely and smoothly, and the printing layers are hardly visible, but you can see them in detail. Therefore, covering the surface of a relatively thick layer of a primer is essential. And again, more work with a sandpaper. The most horrible are wings, and there are 8 of them.
I failed to print a thin pipe on the tail, so I used a copper wire instead. I downloaded pictures of ornithopters from Dune Movie, but I think the whole model in one dark grey shade is dull. Therefore I decided to redesign the color scheme a little bit. I will use more green-grey shade for the fuselage, then the brownish shade for the wings and the mechanical details I will paint with a dark gunmetal. I am painting highlights with a light olive green shade. You can use the paper board as a template for sharp color contrast. It will make the model, shapes and edges more pronounced. The interior is very minimalistic, with only 5 seats. The wings holders are designed with threads, so if something potentially cracks in the future, you can print new parts and replace them. The rear landing legs with a boarding platform seems to me quite fragile, especially this section could not handle the pressure of the mounted wings. Ok, the original model from the movie does not have a hydraulic cylinders, but it will help to hold the wing weight. I also throw out resin pins and instead replace them with a cable terminals. The acrylic paint is not very resilient, thus I'm spraying lacquer matte varnish over the whole model. Time for some weathering and shading. I use highly diluted Vallejo paint, it is more or less dirty water. I'm making random soft stains. It looks pronounced, but when it dries, you can barely see them. The final effect is inconsistent and dirty surface. and shading with a dark grey paint. If you want more random scratches or stains, you can use a sponge. It is much faster than painting all with a paintbrush. The next step is to paint a dust. A lot of dust. I could use acrylic paint even for this step, but I do not believe I can do it on the first try. When the acrylic is dry, you cannot do anything with it. On the other hand, with the enamel paints, you can reactivate even dry paint with a thinner and nicely correct it. Therefore, I use enamel paints for dust.
Another problem is clear parts for the cockpit. I tried to cast them from clear resin, but I failed due to very low thickness. The easier solution is the best solution. I use clear plastic boards. The side windows are more complex, but I believe you can make it on your sixth attempt with some patience and practice. I came up with the idea to make the windows more yellowish, like F22 Raptor. I use transparent acrylic paints for this effect. It looks much better and more sci-fi. I do not like painting wings with the same shade as the fuselage, so I mixed this interesting green-brown shade. And to make it even more eye-catching, I painted each wing construction section with a different brown shade. It took some time, but the result is interesting. And more weathering with enamel and oil paints. The last step is to paint more dirt, corrosion and scratches. All these final touches and small details are very important. You cannot see these details from the distance, but it will make the model more attractive. When I saw the Dune movie for the first time, the scene with the ornithopter was one of my favorites. It looks like from Black Hawk Down. The whole dragonfly design is outstanding, and I couldn't resist having this mechanical beast in my collection. It is larger than I expected. The version with the spreaded wings has more than 40 cm. However, the folded version is acceptable. I enjoyed this model and I hope you will too. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you next time.